Sylvia, and we're the Saska Sisters. We are the writers of Yaira. Uh, we are editors, and we are the lore masters, which means we keep the continuity uh, good. Yeah, and secret. <laughs> yeah, and right. Yeah. <laughs> and that means we know everything about every character, including Avery's social security number. I know. Mm-hmm. And all the characters that are yet to be released. Mm-hmm. Oh, how did we meet Eric? Uh, we met Eric through Black Widow. We wrote a run for Black Widow for Marvel Comics called No Restraints Play. And if you've picked it up, thank you very much. Uh, Eric was cool enough to review it issue by issue. And uh, we got turned on to him doing his reviews. And he really got it. He really loved our book and loving Black Widow and having another their fellow fan really like what you're doing. That just meant the world to us. I never thought that we'd become friends. I never thought that we'd end up working for him for the Ripperverse. But uh, that's a happily ever after for us. Yeah. So I attribute it to Natasha. Yeah. So Black Widow introduced us. That's easy. Well, it's kind of slightly complicated. It would be Uncanny X-Men classic number 179. So the classic was meant it was a re-release of Uncanny X-Men, which was the marriage of Caliban and Kitty Pryde, which was really cool. I read it too. That was mine also. That was my answer. Yeah, well, it reminds <laughs> we might have the same answer. So easy. Spider-Man, oh. Peter Parker. If you are not acquainted, oh my God, you're so lucky you get to read all those comics for the first time. Um, and same Sam Raimi movies are pretty dope. They're pretty good. They're pretty close, but also read you know, like Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, Peter Parker for me also. Uh, he's just the hero that teaches you to believe in yourself. He teaches you to keep going and be a good person even when things might not be going good in your life. He's just the true definition of what it means to be a hero and to pick yourself back up and to see good in people. Yeah, he's just awesome. He's he's kind of hero I aspire to be like. Yeah, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh, uh, I'm gonna cheat on you. I have two of them. Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, and Metal Gear Solid, the franchise. Uh, both the franchises, the TV show or video game series, and the fandoms. They are incredible. And my favorite thing about both Buffy and Metal Gear, you might not think they have anything in common, but they have some of the coolest fans in the universe. So if you meet a fan that likes Buffy or Metal Gear, you have a whole friendship there. You can just start talking about Ocelot or Dark Willow and you found your tribe. What about you? I would say One Piece. And I know it's intimidating for people who are not well acquainted with anime and it's like got over a thousand episodes but the Netflix live action is a really good way to get into it then watch the anime and you can do either sub or dub maybe do sub at first and then come back with the dub I don't know it's your choice and then get into the manga and then you'll get the whole piece but I mean it's fun and like if again like you said if you meet a fan you have something in common to talk about yeah and don't be intimidated by how many episodes of the anime there are or how many issues of the manga there are uh just look forward to something you love not ending very soon nice. there's plenty of it in there go i work with you and we make horror movies <laughs> Yeah, our part-time job. Our <laughs> is our making horror job. movies. <laughs> yeah, we write, direct, and produce horror movies. Uh, we hosted a game show for two seasons. Yeah, um, you were a Rottweiler though, eh? Oh yeah, I have a Rottweiler named Princess Diana, yeah. named after Wonder Woman, and she's like a full-time hobby. I also like playing video games, watching horror movies and wrestling, and reading comic books. Yeah, same. We do a lot of the same thing. Yeah, yeah same, same. Same, same. <laughs> This one's controversial. I don't want to lose any of you guys for this. But uh, we got we to be honest about it. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza. Yes. 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 No, yes. It's, it's a little sweetness with the savory. I like it. Yeah, I love it. And you know, it's pineapple on pizza. It's delicious. And pineapple is really good for you. If you just Google it, it's worth it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you're making the choice of pizza, definitely throw a little pineapple on. It can't hurt you. Yeah, nice. Okay. Bye, guys. See you Thanks, on the internet. Thanks, Love you. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.